Here we are. Fierce ate out. Force ate out. What's the difference? Well, two and a half inch full score. Uh, 400 watt power rating. Two and a half inch voice core. 800 watt power rating. I, in my, in my opinion, this is my opinion, the force has a significantly larger motor structure, significantly larger motor force, but as you can see, there is a, a substantial size difference. It's evident, just looking at it. Oh yeah, this trophy here is way bigger than the, fe the fierce. Fierce is quite heavy too. Uh, This is entry level. This is more of a competition compared to. You gonna if you got a system, if you run into it, these that's sixteen hundred watts. Most vehicles coming off the production line, okay, what car you buy, does not have the amperage necessary to supply to run two of these. So if you buy two of these to really get the performance out of them, you're gonna need to step up your battery and possibly your alternator, where you can get two force. Two fierce, I mean, two fierce eights. Two of them together is 800, 800 RMS. It's gonna give you all the performance you need. Two of them, because they're 400 watts RMS. Most cars, most vehicles, can support reasonably well without lights dimming and texting your alternator. You putting in a 500 to 750 RMS amp. Most cars. So you don't have to add a battery or step up your alternator to get the good, the most performance you can get out of these two fears. Whereas it's, in my opinion, recommended to get the true performance out of a two uh, force eights, you need to have at least a 200 plus alternator because you're gonna need to run, you're gonna have to run an amp that can give you 2K before impedance rise to them. Uh, and you're gonna have to have a battery to support that. So that's the differences. Forget the price, because they're both going to go up in price. So this is going to be $200. And this is going to be 150 some odd dollars. So they both have the same sensitivity rating. So you, they're very efficient in turning any amount of power into sound. But to get that true performance level, to get to that 800 watts on a mess, 2 times 800 to 16. 1600 watt amplifier, that's 160 amps of current that you're going to need. Most cars don't come with a 160 amp alternator. And if they do come with that, that was because the vehicle needed at least 50% of it. So if it needed 50% of it, that means you're only left with 80 amps. You need to make up the difference. So that's why I say to run the force, you're going to pay more money, but you also need to have a stronger alternator and, and, one, and one battery to get the utmost performance out of it. Whereas with the fierce subs, you can go get your prime. I mean, they Toro sells amps that you can get. Uh, they got that, I think the R5, 1,000 watts. Two, two Toro R5, uh, two, two fierce eights on a Toro R5 amp will be fine. You don't even need to set, you don't have to get your extra battery. Nice if you got a small one. But you definitely want to change your arsenal out to get the full performance. And mind you, I'm only talking about getting the full performance. You can buy, don't do none of that if you want to, but don't think you're getting the, just know that you're not getting the full performance of the sub when you don't have the, the electrical going in. It takes power going in to get power going out. All right? That's the difference between the two. And this is a visual representation. So people go, oh man, the, the force, yeah, the force is, it, it's a mother, both of them a motherfucker. Y'all gonna see my video on this. Be playing this video. Uh, if I haven't already posted, you will see it shortly. But you've already seen what I did with these. I have four of these. And I'm back to them. Back to running two this time because I wanted to see something. I wanted to see something. My program called with something. So I'm back to running two of these Toros. Like, subscribe, share. On this channel, I try to keep it real, man. Uh, I don't do a lot of gimmicky stuff. No one is paying me nothing. I pay for this stuff. 
So with that being said, when y'all like, subscribe, share, and my my uh, followers go up, my prestige, my channel get more popularity, I'm able to get more money to do more things. I'm at 2,500 subscribers. I want to thank y'all for that. And I'm still organic, you know. I don't have a, I'm still just doing relatively something. When y'all follow me, like and subscribe, I so appreciate it. And we're going to be doing more and more things as the revenue rolls in. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I love these dogs. <laughs> this is my second favorite. Eight. <laughs> this is my second favorite. Eight. I love them. I truly do. Ah, uh, peace.